Welcome back to Let's Play Super Speed Act Razor. My name is Brick Road. This is Blood Pool. They call it that because it's a pool filled with blood. And unfortunately for us, because while that would be extremely awesome, the actual level takes place nowhere near the pool full of blood. It just takes place in a generic swampland. <sighs> the things that could have been. Level's a little bit more straightforward than the two we've done so far. There's like no branching paths to go through. There's just basically lots of monsters in this one straight shot. Your whole goal is just to last from one apple to the next. There's a half of an apple. As you probably notice, it's kind of difficult to avoid damage in this game. You just kind of have to uh, take your lumps and hope you don't die. But fortunately, you can take a lot of hits with one life bar, which is definitely a good thing. Um, I do think I need to get over here. Is there a free guy over here? No, 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 I don't want to fall in the hole. That's bad. That, that's really bad. Um, I might need this one up because getting up here... So anyway, that's the uh, the death stance in Act Razor. You just kind of hunch over on the ground with your sword in the ground. You know what? Screw you guys. I'm going to get that one up again because I'm stubborn. Haha! -ha. I am victorious this time. And I will eat this apple to refill the two hit points that I lost. Here we are coming up on the boss. This is the most boring boss in the game. Because I only know one really good way to fight him. And that's kind of the hide up in the corner here. I wait for him to come up. And then slash at him with your sword when he does that. You can't really chase him because there's a giant gap in the middle. And you have to fight this boss before you collect any really good magic spells. So yeah, this is it. This is the... Uh, if you're extremely lucky, you can get three hits in on each round, but if you're not, you kind of just have to do this. I've watched, like, task videos and speedruns and things where they kind of do just follow them around, but I'm not that coordinated, certainly not at super speed. So you get to watch the boring method of fighting him. And I'm certain everybody's running to their keyboards right now being like, Rick Road, there's lots of easy ways to fight this guy. Watch all our video responses. Whatever. I'm set in my ways. This is what I came up with when I was 11 years old, and this is what I stick with to this day. Besides, let's face it, if it wasn't for this, this video would only be like a minute long. And what good is a minute long video to anyone, I ask you? One more hit. I'm not even going to pretend like I have something else to talk about when it comes to this boss. Haha, -ha, I've got you now! I've often tried to time it so he does his little pose, like, in mid-air, and falls into the lake to see if you get a game over or if it just gives you the win anyway. Have not managed to figure that out. It's never happened for me. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh! I know it's unexpected, Sir Santa, but the people of Bloodpool will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.